Okay, guys. This is just a quickie. This is Immigrant Town when it is still in Stage 3. It's after you defeat Estark. Um, and uh, talked and recruited a woman named Carla. This is Carla. And this is the only time you're going to be able to buy Lucida Shards. You get one free one. I believe, yeah, at uh, the Monster Castle. Yeah, that's the place. Um, this is the only time, though, you can actually buy the Lucida Shards because they're going to go away after this, and then you either have to steal them, or steal or wait for a drop from them from a certain monster, I believe. Actually, they might not even drop from a monster. I haven't looked that far in. Just, if you want Lucida Shards, which cure confusion, I believe, the only way to cure confusion, this is where you get them. Don't forget them. And it's mainly for if I decide to do bonus bosses. So I'm going to get four for myself here. All right. And I'll show you the other part of Immigrant Town that you're going to want to do. You want to take a look, especially for this challenge. That's going to be the next day here. So I'll meet you there. All right, guys, we're now in... Stage four? Yeah, stage four of the Pioneer Town. And after getting every all the items and whatnot, this her store once again is the only place that you can buy Kerplunk Bracers. Um Plank Brings would be good if but we already got the two main characters for with mighty armlets right now, so I'm not really worried, but it's here if you want it. Um Main thing here is the Kerplunk Bracers. This is where I will be buying them. There is one more stage to this Pioneer Town, and then you'll lose access to Kerplunk Bracers. However, that doesn't happen until after you beat the game normally. So, if I do find myself beating the game, beating Pissarro with this team, and I decide to take on more of the some of the bonus bosses, I probably will hold off on upgrading it until. I, um, until I, like, buy way too many Kerplunk Bracers or whatever. I'm probably going to buy myself about five more. I have two in the bag at the moment. I'll probably buy, like, five more just for general safety numbers. And we'll be... I think that's what, how we'll be handling Pissarro, but I gotta see if there's a winning strategy to that still. In any case, I just wanted to show you guys this place because I want to make sure you guys know where you can get them. You can get them from item drops, too. I know that they drop from somebody, but I just don't remember who. So, I don't think it's anybody in the before the end of the game, though. So, I think it's only in the bonus dungeon certain monsters will drop them. So, yeah, uh, that's an issue there. Uh, but, at least, you know, that is an option and if you really need them. Otherwise, you, you just gotta make do with the ones you have. Anyway, I'll see you probably at the barrier bosses next. Okay, guys, we're here at Prusslis. This is actually not too bad to rush down. He could be a little bit more dangerous than he actually is because he can do massive crits. But when you have more targets, he generally won't doesn't seem to target down at the end of the line where Boria is with the lowest HP of everybody. So, that doesn't seem too bad. We're going to Miracle Sword this, and yeah, with uh, Ragnar, nothing else really matters on his end. Um, nothing really has changed on Tornico or Alina. They got their best stuff going for them. And Borea is going to be our super duper support here. You could use Maya if you just want to go even further all out, but I prefer to... Do uh, physical buffs for Prusslis because you want to really rush him down. That said, it is possible that uh, some people could die, but I would say Ragnar could probably solo him. Uh, maybe not solo, but he could uh, he could out survive him eventually with his miracle sword. Anyway, we're just gonna start with Sap so everybody could uh, attack very well. Good job, Alina. Yeah, that desperate attack there. We're going to go ahead and oomph Ragnar so he can get his HP up and back pretty well when he attacks. Interesting. And after that, we should probably heal Ragnar. 
So yeah, if Ragnar dies, then the rest of them are gonna take this guy out. You know, it's simple as that. His Kasap's the dangerous part, but we don't really have a defense for it. Alright, why don't you go ahead and oomph tor Tornica while you're at it. But yeah. And there you go. That's it. That's it for Prustless. He doesn't have enough HP to really be too much of a threat to just, you know, take him out like that. So, no biggies there. And right, uh, I'll meet you at the next one, which I think is going to be Barbatos, if I remember right. So, meet you there. Okay, guys, we're here at Barbados. Same item setup, same party setup for the moment. And, yeah, this guy could get some people killed, but generally, you should have this. It's mainly his magic kaboom that kind of hurts everybody. In any case, we just attack and tap. I would say you could substitute Tornico out for Maya, maybe, but she'd be a little bit in danger, and so that would also endanger Alina a little. All right, Tornico just mustered his strength. That's. I'm gonna go ahead and oomph him. Get him higher damage than that. He mustered his strength again. Oh, you dick. I'm going to go ahead and safety heal Boria, because he's got low HP. Can you at least attack now, Tornico? 400 with that muster strength. Nice. But yeah, this is where things can start to hurt. You know, I could have picked up... I could have picked up Boria's uh, Metal King... I mean, uh, Maya's Metal King... Our metal slime, uh, liquid metal slime shield. That would have been pretty helpful at this point. Actually, I'm going to say Chronico self heal. And if you don't want stuff of salvations, you could also use a uh, shield of strength for self healing for people. Go ahead and heal yourself. But yeah, Barbados isn't too bad, but yeah, Tornico screwing around is going to cause issues. This is why I had him heal himself. Meanwhile, Ragnar is pretty much fine right now. Try healing yourself, do this. You heal Alina. If uh, if he dies, who ca it's not a the end of the world. Tonico screws around. That's his thing. That said, the, oh, the healing is very dicey. I could take a round to self-heal, but I also feel like he's almost down. But we gotta get that sap in because the defense is a little high. Yeah. So, so, again, some people might die. There goes Alina. I'm not really worried, though, because we basically got this. Okay, go ahead and heal him. Because he needs to take the hits better. Eh, there goes Borya. Hey, cool. Ragnar are going to do this, huh? Well, this is where uh, having one of those um, Kerplunks things would be very useful. But I'm pretty sure Ragnar's got this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there you go. It isn't... It, Ragnar can out-survive it. That's the whole point, at least. Uh, I'm probably going to redo this off... Uh, off camera, just to go ahead and um, get the experience for everybody. But yeah, my test run went a little bit differently than that. So it's just kind of funny that that's how that worked. Um, yeah. The point was, it's beatable. I'll see you at the Rathathalos, the dragon's uh, barrier boss next. See you there. Okay, guys, we're at Rasha Varric, and for this time, we're going to have a slightly different type of party instead of just brute forcing it. Uh, we're going to have Alina, Maya, Borya, and you can't see him in the item menu, but there's also Sparky. Sparky's going to be helping us because he has some area of effect damage as well, but also he's he can actually do something and still be, have a decent speed for things too. So, honestly, I mean, he might not be the best choice, but he's another option if you want. You could also use a instead a. Uh, Someone else, either Tornico or Ragnar as a healer, but you know Tornico is unreliable, and Ragnar would be slow, a slow healer with the staff of 
uh, salvation. So, eh. I mean, you could do could give him what I'm giving Alina the the uh, staff of divine wrath to help attack, and then Alina could be healing instead. But yeah, she's mostly going to be the healer this route. Um, Maya also is going to be using a dirk, an icicle dirk because her magic is resisted, and you don't want to get the, the dragons at an uneven HP. You want them all dead at the same time. Boria is going to be the MVP here using a crackle because it's 100% always hits. So let's go ahead and start this. I just one time did this with Sparky and just the hero once because we were doing... It wasn't really much of a challenge. It was just like an incidental thing where I split up the party to take, handle the handle the four barrier bosses like on their own in different parties. All right, and you're going to crackle. He's not really susceptible to many status spells. Like he, He's susceptible to Dazzle and Snooze and Fuddle, but it's high resistant, and you're better off just getting the damage in. The Staff of Divine Wrath's not the biggest deal, and honestly, it's just for Alina to get something to do offensively. Alright, but for now, she's going to be healing. Sparky will sometimes attack like that. Oop, not Salvation. Icicle Dirk. You could, just, you could just uh, even just have Boria take care of things slowly and have every other person just healing. But, yeah. Alright, now that that's happened, we're going to have Alina actually just attack because we want to make sure that they stay down. I think a crackle... Yeah, a crackle's got this. So... And we got a Dragon Shield, too. And I didn't mention it before, but yeah, Tornico could steal from these guys as well. So if you really wanted a bunch of Miracle Swords, you could have... Um, if you could survive long enough, you could just have Tornico in there and hope he steals. And then either load your state if he, you know, kills it. Or uh, you get killed because you're getting overwhelmed by way too many... Way too many um, kabooms to the face without a healer. So yeah, that's it for... Russia Varric, I'll meet you at the Amon fight next. Okay, guys, now we're here for the Amon fight. We got back to our physical crew with Borya in the back. Once again, this is probably something you could also do with Maya instead of Tornico, but I, again, I'm going for the more HP rather than... Other than extra magic damage, the magic damage is not going to be that much help anyway because, for the most part, um, the almond's going to have nothing but bounce spell on him. So you really can't pass magic at him unless you have someone with the Zenithian sword, which I did put on Boria and tried it out, but yeah, essentially it would just be mages healing and your fighters fighting. So I'm doing Tornico for now. But. For the most part, it's a clean victory. It does get a little bit rough around the edges, but with Ragnar just constantly attacking, he's basically safe with the Miracle Sword. Alina almost never has to help heal. Tornico does do some self-healing, though. There is some self-healing and all that. But anyway, everyone's going to go for the Drooling Ghouls to knock them out first because they're the biggest pain in the ass for this fight at the moment. Yeah, that weird dodge is what I tried something where all the physicals just focus on Amon at first too, but uh, while Boria keeps focusing down that guy, but then Boria's left just killing himself the whole time. Here, why don't you guys both attack that, and I'm gonna have you go ahead and start an oomph up on R Ragnar. Uh, is Boria gonna die? Okay, Boria lives. Physical squad can attack. Yeah. I can't rely on Tornico to heal, so we're gonna go ahead and Staff of Salvation in Boria. If, uh, they have to heal themselves, then so be it. I did try a couple ideas where, what if I just used, uh, Bounce on Boria, but then he still cast Area of Magic stuff. Area of effect stuff, so it doesn't help that much. 
I'm gonna have you guys still attack and and you heal yourself. Once again, if I have to do some self-healing, that's fine. His bounce bell's off. I'll risk a sap. He does resist it pretty well. Oh, good. Of course, now you're going to crit where the defense is ignored. But yeah, there you go. Mostly easy. You can rush him down, but it's best to get rid of those drooling ghouls right away. But that's the barrier bosses, guys. Next time, I guess we'll be an attempt on Pissarro. I... Or maybe, yeah, I don't think I'll be doing a run through the castle unless something really pops up where I'm having an issue. Then I'll show it. But otherwise, yeah, we're just going to skip right to the Pissarro the Manslayer because, yeah, the cat, like I mentioned before, castle is too short to be really watched over. I'm just telling that now. There is no organization with this. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'll see you, I guess, at the attempt. And if I have to, you might see me at level 99.